On this episode of Porter's Projects, I'm going to show you how to make your own jigsaw puzzle out of wood. Um, you can overlay with your own image or another image that you find. <clears throat> to start this project, I went ahead and I cut out basically they're 8 by 10 pieces of plywood. Uh, it's just quarter inch plywood you can pick up at Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever. Um, the reason why I went with an 8 by 10 is because I was planning on printing off eight and a half by 11 images. And so that way I wouldn't have to line it up exactly. I could more or less just stick it on and then I'll plan on trimming the edges later. So to glue the picture to the wood, we're just gonna go ahead and use a general, like a multi-purpose adhesive. This is Scotch Super 77. Um, and I, my wife loves using it on stuff, so I figured I'd give it a shot as well. And I'll have a link in the description for you, so if you wanna get a hold of it, you can. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray the wood and the paper separate and allow them to dry for uh, 30 seconds or so before we stick them together. That way it'll create a permanent bond. So now I've allowed it to dry for 30 seconds. Um, we're gonna go ahead and stick them together. All right, so the next step in this process of making a puzzle is we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the shape of the puzzle pieces on the image that we've overlaid. Uh, that way I make sure I have the right number of puzzle pieces as well as that each of the pieces will interlock. Um, I've made puzzles in the past where I just went to freehand it and I just ended up with really wonky shapes that didn't interlock. All right, now that we've got the pieces drawn on the image, we're gonna cut out each of the pieces. To cut out each of the pieces, we're going to use a scroll saw, and I'm using, I've got a Shop Fox scroll saw here, uh, that, and I'll have a link in the description, so you can get one if you want to, at least take a look at it. So after you're done cutting out your pieces, uh, you're going to see that you have little fuzzies or little slivers kind of on the bottom of the puzzle. Uh, but it, it's, all you do is you just take some sandpaper, honestly probably any grit that you have laying around a word, and just go ahead and sand off each of the corners. So. so the last step you do to make the puzzles is go ahead and you want to seal them with either a lacquer or a shellac uh, just to make sure there's a nice hard smooth finish over top of the puzzle and i just went to walmart and grabbed some rust-oleum lacquer uh, it's only like four bucks so you can find this on amazon and i'll have a link in the description for it